Hey, aloha nerd and geeks. My name's Garrick, this is Grace. And uh, happy angsty Valentine's Day to you guys. Because today, in our first impression reviews, we cover high school drama. A game that simulates what it's really like being a teenager. <laughs> so, uh, before we go on, hey, is there any like teen movies that you like? Teen movies? Teen movies. I don't know. Not really into teen movies. Yeah, I know. But for the people that are watching this <laughs> from their computers because we're on YouTube and stuff, uh, there's movies from the 80s, like John Hughes movies, like The Breakfast okay, Club. Yeah. A brain, a beauty, a jock, a rebel, and a recluse. Can't believe this is really happening to me. Before this day is over, they'll break the rules. <coughs> Chicks, can I hold a smoke? That's what it is. Bear their souls. I'm a nymphomaniac. Are your parents aware of this? Take some chances. Being bad feels pretty good. Huh? And touch each other in a way they never dreamed possible. Why'd you do that? Because I knew you wouldn't. The Breakfast Club. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, that goes through the gambit of different different cultures of the of the teen world. Which brings us to high school drama. So in this game, the object is, is to get the most signatures by the end of the senior year. You start as a freshman and you work your way to a senior and you try to get as most signatures as you possibly can. There are several ways you can get the most signatures. And the way you're gonna do that is by forming a clique. Starting off with one character. For, for me, I'm very emo, so I'm the emo boy. And my job is to find friends. So what I'm gonna do is I have three cards. Three cards card, the drama cards. What they allow me to do, and I get to play almost every single time, is I could play the hookup card. A hookup card allows me to go to the quad and meet a new friend. And I can do that by matching the same interests. For instance, this girl has the same interests in the arts. So maybe I want to do a hookup with her. So I put her over here, and I place a token. Or maybe I want to hook up with the cruelest girl. A very popular girl because she has the same cool as my emo boy and it makes perfect sense <laughs> or maybe maybe I want to join an organization such as uh, the dance club because it's artsy and athletic at the same time so maybe I put a hook up in there maybe I even want to uh, strengthen the bond so I'll go to play the bond card basically every time I play that I add a token to the relationship. If the token equals to the amount of value between both hearts, uh, it's all good. It's all good. Or maybe I want to play the breakup card. Maybe I'm noticing that the other click got more attention than my click, and I'm not cool with that. So I send the cruelest girl who has a cruelty of five to break up a relationship. Let's say between the goth girl and the tortured artist. So I would have to remove a bond token. Yeah, or maybe I want to remove a bond between the hacker girl and the goth girl. Ooh. And that breaks this whole bond here. And they go back to the quad. And they go back to the quad. Very interesting, you can play those cards. But I think you can play other cards, can't you? Yeah, there are a lot of event cards. Right. Some event cards depend on the semester you're in. So like the spring fling is best to play during the spring semester because mm -hmm. you get two signatures instead of just the one. Right. And then it also allows any other player to exchange some of their bonds in exchange for signatures. You get more bonds, you get more signatures. That's how it goes, right? Yeah. Yeah. And that's the gist of the game. You play this several rounds until you get to your senior year and you go to your closing ceremonies in which you count all the signatures. So uh, what's your first impression of this game? It was really fun when we played it because yeah. we kind of like put our own characters into it. <laughs> like, oh, well, the cheerleader is going to break up with the quarterback. And since the quarterback is free now, maybe right. the tortured artist is going to hook up with him instead. Right, right, right. Uh, there's also <laughs> events like the pregnancy scare. Oh, right. Which strengthens a relationship between two <laughs> existing characters. 
oh man, that was crazy. <laughs> and then you have other characters that you might be familiar with and you just want to hook up as friends, such as uh, the Game Master. Mm-hmm. He's kind of cool. He's got a low coolness, but he's got, you know, he's got a relative uh, likability to him too. Yeah. Uh, I do like this game because you do play a lot of character work and it's just yeah. fun, you know, playing the game as a character, not really playing to win, but playing to just have fun. Yeah. Tell stories and whatnot. That's what I like about it. Uh, other than that, that's a really, really great game and that's our first impression review. My name's Garrett, this is Grace. Uh, thanks for watching. Hey everybody, thank you for watching my video. Hey, if you can, give it a like and subscribe. We appreciate any kind of comments that you guys can give, so leave a comment below, because any kind of feedback is great feedback. Also, thank you to the Armchair Adventurer for hosting us. As always, you can come to their store, check out games, try games, and hopefully buy games. So remember, whenever you're at the Armchair Adventurer, get your game on.